Hi and welcome to another tutorial about the Blender Cycles nodes. Today I'm going to model a sword and the sword we will after that texture uh, using only procedural textures so no images allowed. Um, the reason I'm doing this is that uh, how you model have a great impact on how the texture will look on the model. So. I will show a little bit how everything works. Okay, uh, before we start, uh, I would like you to add another add-on if you don't have it already. So go to the file and use the preferences. And on add-ons, you write the word extra, and then you get add curve extra objects, with, which we will use when we are doing the handle or the hilt for the sword. So check that one, press save user settings and you're good to go. Okay, uh, when I thought of doing a sword, I thought it would be very, very easy just to go out and write sword and you get the reference image. Um, it was not that easy, but uh, this is how it looked. I got out, I got all these swords, but what I thought I would have or show you was how to make a real sword, a sword that is used uh, during a war or something like that. And I get a lot of these fantasy swords, uh, swords that we cannot use at all. So I needed to go a little bit deeper to find out how to search for pure and simple reference image for a sword. And finally, I found out that they have swords, real swords, on images, but you have to write cross hilt broadsword to get the type of sword that I will do today. So if you write cross hilt broadsword and you download a few reference images, I think they all will look similar to what I'm going to build. So when you have that, it's just for us to start. And I will start with that part that is called guard. And for that, I will use a reference image. So I create a new window and I select UV image editor. And after that, I select open. And I have all my reference images in this broadsword here. And now I see here, this one is what I'm going to do. So I select that and now I have it here. Uh, for once, I will not delete the cube, I will build that one out of this cube. So I just go a little bit closer, press tab for going to edit mode, and now it's time to shape it. So S set to go in this direction, and then G, X, 1. And that is because I will mirror this part here and then I would like to have the origo here. So that is why I'm moving it. And then I just take select faces here and that face here. And now it's more for me to try and drag this out in this length here. So it's just G, X and then I have my eyes to watch this and I think I will stop like that. Um, I'm not doing this uh, very, very scientifically. It's just looking at the shape and then try to get it similar. Okay, uh, then I have to make it a little smaller here and then I do that by S, Y to make it like this and I try to get the square here. And if I see that this is a little bit too much here, then I perhaps should take and select everything and make it even thinner. And then I can take this and select something like that, I think. Okay, now I think it's okay. And uh, next step is to make the hole here. So I do a loop cut and slide, control R and press two and then I press twice to have this one here and I also need a line here so I press ctrl R again and I drag this to about 
here, I think. And now when I have that, I will take away these faces. So I will select face here, and then I take that face, holding down shift, that face, and that face, and then I press delete, faces. And now I will build new faces here. So I select edge, and I click on keeping shift down, these three, press F for face, and then I can take these three here and press F and then I take that one keeping down shift now and then these three or four and F and now I have a beautiful hole here. So that is all I have to do here and now I go tab to get to object mode, I select modifier, add modifier and a mirror looks very nice i can take clipping but i don't need to in this case and i also should put in some bevel to make it look like a real sword in the future so add modifier bevel and i don't need one i can have i think it almost three will be okay here like that and now i will do this thing at the side and what I can see of them is just that they are two torus and a U-sphere, so it's rather easy that as well. Uh, to make it even easier, I think we should name this. So I double click here and I select the name uh, God, because that is what this part is called. And now I take Shift A, Mesh and a torus, and I rotate it in the Y direction, so R, Y, 90 degrees. And I move it out. <coughs> I press numpad 5 to get an orthographic view. It's easier to work in that case. And I can take view top, I believe. And then I just uh, GX to move it out like this. And then scale it down. Move it a little bit GX here. I think it would be great, yes and now i would like to have it on that side as well so add modifier mirror mirror object guard and you have two and you would like to have two on that side as well so just press shift d and then g x g x to get it like that about and then we can press object apply scale and that we can do with this one as well object apply scale so we don't get any weird stuff later on and finally we need a sphere so shift a mesh sphere and then just move it out gx for scale G Yeah, and then as well, uh, apply scale on that one as well. And we could uh, smooth them, so smooth, smooth, and smooth. We don't have to smooth this one. Okay, uh, we are now finished. No, we're not finished. We need that one as well. So, okay, add modifier, uh, mirror, and guard. Now we're finished. Okay. Uh, next thing we would like to have is the blade, I think. Uh, the blade, we uh, should have an image to look at so we get the proportions correct. So I press N to get this up here. <coughs> and I go down and I select background image and I press add image and i press open and i go to broadsword select uh, this image i believe and i go to view front now i was thinking about putting the handle here and putting the sword blade here so i think i will turn this and that i will do just by pressing flip vertical and now i need to move this up so I take and move it like this. I go a little bit higher because what I will do now is that I will also ex uh, make it bigger in size and then it goes down like this. OK, 
can take it even more, I believe. There we have it. And then I go. I think for my sake, 465 would be okay here. So <clears throat> now it looks fantastic. And cylinder. This cylinder will now be our blade. So what I will do now is to remove the top and the bottom. We don't need that one. So in cap fill type, just press nothing and they will be empty. And the next step we'll do is to uh, take and make the blade in the correct height. So we take view front and it could be that I should move this image even more. Now I think it's centered. And uh, I can go to edit mode and I press A to deselect everything. And after that, I hold down Alt and I take the highest line here. And, and uh, then I go to the view front again. And now it's just for me to drag all the way up. So G and set and then I go up here about and we get a little bit closer. <clears throat> now you can see it's not perfect here so we take and rotate this so it aligns and we press set to make this uh, transparent and S for scale so we get the correct size here and now you can see now it's the tip starts to go in here so E for extrude is set to let it go up and that seems good S and scale and then the same again E set go up and so scale like that so now you have <coughs> the blade here and you can press set again and view top what I will do now is that I will remove half of this because this part here, when I model that, will be exactly the same part as this here. So uh, it will be very good if I use a mirror modifier here. So I select faces uh, like that and get a little bit closer so I can work with it. And then I just use B and I take away that part here and press X or delete and we'll select faces and now I have half of this. So next step is for me to add a modifier, uh, mirror modifier and as you can see it's in Y axis so we change that to Y and we put clipping and merge together and now we have a really nice looking thing here. Uh, what I will do now is also that I press Alt here, select edges, Alt. I think I took that one away, it's easier. <coughs> this one. And now I press again. So, and then I press F for faces. And then I press A to select everything. And now I scale it in the Y direction. So S, Y, scale like this and now I got a really broad sword here and that I can easily change by just press G Y to make it more narrow like that. So now we have our sword here when it comes to the blade and I will do a lot of stuff on that blade later on but for now we can just leave it pressing tab and go out and concentrate on the handle below. So I will select the guard and view selected because now it's easier to move around. And the handle, to make that, we also need a reference image because I would like to see the length of the handle. Uh, how to create it? 
we have different ways to do it and I will use curves in this case and that's why you e put in the add-on uh, in the beginning of this uh, video. So what I do now is press shift A and curve and I select curve spirals and archimedian. This will give this menu here and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> and I will have nine here and 10 here, perhaps 11. So I take and press 11 terms here, but that doesn't change so much of things. I also need a height. I can go up and I can go down. In this case, I would like to go down. Uh, I will flatten that part and that part so it could be that I do a little bit more in height than the leather itself. Uh, then we also have a little bit more width here. It's more narrow here and it's wider here. <coughs> so we change the radius. As you can see we can do that rather easily here like that. And the complete Radius which is here, and now you can see the sword is a little bit so it's better. Uh, I will extrude here, so I think this scale is okay, like that. So now you're almost finished with the handle as well. Uh, we now go to edit mode, and here I will, as I said, I will take down this part here so. What I do now is that I see I have that part selected and now I hold down control and I select that part. No, I don't select that part. Uh, I don't, we do like this, view, global, local. Don't have anything in the way in that case. So I select the first part here and then I select the the point below that by holding the control down so now all these are selected and then I press S set 0 and it will be completely flat that line we just drag it down G set like this and uh, since this will be the inner part of the letter we also press scale and move it in like this just a little bit okay uh, we do the same at the bottom so I take that part and then I think it will be this one here holding down control and like that and S set 0 and G set to move it up and then S scale a little bit like this and now we have almost everything on the handle and if I now take view front again I think I get my picture here yes uh, it follows along right rather okay but as you can see if you look very close uh, we have more leather here than we have here because it's not a straight line it's a little bit bent here and now now we have now when we already have that one selected we could select and proportional editing enable and <coughs> scale that part right here to get it a little bit closer like that uh, then we get the thinner line so now we have the skeleton so to say for our blade and what we do now is go to the the line here curve here and change a few things first of all we press full and then we go to bevel so we go out to object so you can see <coughs> press tab go to object and now you can press bevel take that up a little bit and as you can see it's rather yeah, not that good looking so we take up the resolution a bit like this and now it looks like a spring and we don't want spring we want a leather handle so what we do down then is uh, that we change this 
from minimum to set up and use extrude <coughs> and when we use extrude we can build it up like this and now we get a really looking good handle and that is almost finished there uh, what we need more we can take view global local so we get the complete sort here now uh, what we will do now is also that it should not be completely round it should be a little bit following the blade here so go back pressing tab again uh, select a for select everything and now we scale it so it scales along the blade here so s and uh, take away the uh, so s and y and take it like I don't know like that perhaps yes looks okay and now we can go out again so now we have this as, as you can see here I have left a uh, little space here and that is because I will have some thread going between and it looks better I think if we have just a little bit left so to make the thread it's very easy you just copy what we have shift D and G set to move it down a bit I don't want that to be copied delete that one so um, yes uh, I was on that one so uh, take away the extrude and that is all now we have everything finished here uh, what you can do is that you can scale it a little bit so go to tab and S shift set so you don't scale on the height and just move it a little bit in like this and then go out again now you have the I think it's better like this okay uh, so now we have a handle and we have that part called guard and uh, we have the blade as well and the next thing is to add uh, one little thing here it's called pommel and one thing here and one thing here and to build those I think we use another reference image as well so I now go to image and open image and in this case I take this uh, no I take that one uh, because here I can see okay I need something here and I need something here and I have something here I think I start with that part because that's very easy it's just shift a and a mesh and a cylinder taking up the cylinder bit and then just scale it on the heights as set like that and before we continue we take away the cylinder again because we should now shift a cylinder we should have something here so we take and god now we have something okay <coughs> uh, so a cylinder with and gun cap fill type is what we add here and now we scale it uh, s set in height move it up a bit uh, we scale it in x so s x like that and we scale it all over like that uh, s y yeah you can see what i'm doing here it's just that and then just scale it up a bit s set to make it a little bit less and then g set to make it go down and there we have it and now i just apply the scale object apply scale and i could add some subdivision surface no I should do a bevel first it will look a bit nicer uh, like that and uh, we can put smooth on it and now we have it here okay uh, next part would I think be that one so uh, we can do we can copy this one 
or we can do a new one it doesn't matter i think we can just copy this one so shift d g set to move down and then just scale and scale x scale x a little bit more so you can see it's just to work here as uh, s set to make it a little bit higher and g set to put it i think it will look great there we can take away um, the bevel for this one and we can go in tab edit mode and i would put like 15 lines here uh, look at the slides so Control r and 15 and enter and now you can select uh, like every like we take that line see so you have line here uh, shift alt and every third so you have one two three and then you press here shift alt again one two three uh, one two three and one control set uh, shift alt again and now you have those and then you just press s for scale and you get these here because that is is uh, it's not screwed it's just uh, yeah just pressed in like this okay uh, just be sure that you don't have any letters on out here it looks okay we can take and select everything and I think we can scale a little bit in the y direction with like that because I need to have it inside I think because I, otherwise it doesn't look that good um so hopefully i don't have any letters so uh, do i have some it's I think it's okay though. Uh, since I scaled it a little bit here, I also set object uh, object apply scale like that. Okay, so now we have that part, and as I can see here, it, that part is bigger than this part, so I should increase this as well. Now it's better. And object apply scale on that one so what is left uh, that is the part down here and uh, what i can see it's just another sphere so shift a mesh uh, uv sphere and then g set and we go down and we scale it up a bit and we can apply that scale as well object apply scale and i cut that at half so view uh, front i think will be good and um, tab and we press this one and a to d select everything and select faces and now we press b to select these here and x or delete to take away the faces and now i think uh, the easiest thing to do is just to uh, build these manually so select edges uh, take away that one again and just start to select alt extrude in height set and then scale it out a bit okay so it can go down extrude set to go up and s for scale g set to go down like that i think will be good and e s s for scale e set and now i think it will go in a bit scale here e set 
scale auto match and j set go down and i can take one e set and scale and i take g set to go down and then that will be okay like that okay and i will build that manual as well so i select faces and then i select i press c and i select that part here and press escape and i take it away delete faces and then go back to edges and press alt here and then it's just to create the game so e set go down e set ps for scale a bit e set e set go down and e set and scale up s e set it doesn't have to be exact this is just as you know a reference image so you can build it a little bit exactly how you want to build it or follow instruction 100% it's up to you it's your sword um, s for scale here and then go e set s e set s and i just put f there and then we have it and we could make it look a little bit nice as well by selecting some lines here so i can do like this i press alt and then hold shift down alt and then i take like uh, every third here as i did before uh, shift alt shift alt shift alt shift alt shift alt repeating 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 so okay I didn't get exact here but it I think we can do like this instead uh, we take it like that um, take two in between I think that will be okay my math is not the best but I will try and see what happens here okay I almost give up here uh, we uh, we press s for scale take it down a bit and it looks okay and then I just uh, add a subdivision surface like two times and smooth and we get something rather nice even if I don't get it perfect uh, we could now press it a little bit uh, scale it on y axis so s y to move it like this and then uh, as normal object apply scale so uh, the only thing left now is to change the blade a bit uh, so i will do that with another reference image so i take this reference image instead because here i can see how the blade is built uh, first we have that part and then we have these lines here going down so we start with this uh, i will only use my eyes to measure about so i don't know uh, i just guess a little bit when i draw me my, my things here uh, but i press ctrl r and i drag it down i think it will be good to have it here about and go ctrl r again like that and now I think I just select faces, select those faces, and I press E for insert. Make a little hole here and S for scale, just a bit to get that part there. And then we need those lines here, but before that, I would like to have this flat. So I now. Uh, Select everything and then I 
press view front so I'm sure that I get everything straight in front of me and then I press B and select everything here and now I press S and Y and 0 S Y 0 because that gets my uh, saw to get the square thing here so it looks really okay like that and now I can put in those lines as we should have that so A again to move it and view front and I think we can take not too close but if we take that line uh, shift that and that and perhaps even yes we take one more like that and now press i i can move this down like this and then just press g and go in a bit so g y like that now we have that part okay and the next part will be this and then it's going up uh, I don't know where it stops here so we have to guess a little bit but we go back here and we need uh, control R about where this starts so control R loop cut here I don't know if we do like that I think we'll be okay then we need to have it it's also guess but something here so control R again Uh, let's see about here would be good and now I select faces and if I now select let's see what we should take uh, that one okay oh it's two we take these two and these two I think those would be great and then we go check that is okay and that is okay uh, so now we just press i again take it down a bit and then g y to go in so now we are in there and we have this part here uh, what we are doing now is just to do some subdivision two times and after that uh, press smooth and then we get the blade as it should be so now we have the complete um, can select that one view select it it's easier to go around then we have the complete um, sword made and now we should only texture it and that I will take uh, in a separate video so it yeah you need to go to P and so on so just uh, see you later and I hope that you get a really good sword that we can texture later on so bye for now